Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles. I'm back to Sudoku U, where I'm continuing to do puzzles from Signet Sudoku Volume 3. In this case, I'm doing X, X's, uh, X and V's with Cages by Congito. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm just doing a bunch of puzzles from Signet Sudoku Volume 3. I was sent these puzzles months ago, but now that Signet Sudoku Volume 3 is out, I'm deciding to just have some fun with a lot of the puzzles that have been released. Um, because I can. Um, of course, there'll be a link below to where you can try this puzzle for yourself, um, as well as to where you can get yourself a copy of Signet Sudoku Volume 3 in PDF format for free. Um, also links to where you can get Signet Sudoku Volumes 1 and 2. You can also order yourself a print copy if you wish. That is not free, but um, you can do that if you want to get yourself a physical copy of the book. Um, yeah, I'm just wanting to jump straight in with the puzzles because I'm really looking forward to giving these ones a try. I've gone through all the details in previous videos, um, but that's really it. Get yourself, download Signet Sudoku, solve them. These are the puzzles by the students of Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards as Puzzles and Paradoxes class, um, and they're normally pretty good. So let's have a look. So what do we have in X, X and Vs with Cages by Conjito? We have normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. X and V pairs. So digits in cells separated by a V sum to five, digits in cells connected by an X sum to 10, and not all possible Xs and Vs are necessarily given. So it's perfectly fine for other um, pairs of cells to sum to five or 10. Um, you don't need an X or a V. It's just if you've got one, you know they sum to 10 or five. And then cages. Um, digits Add to the total in the top left corner of the cage. So these digits sum to 23, these sum to 15, these sum to seven. If given, um, it, is there a cage with no total given? Not that I can see. Digits cannot repeat in cages. So for example, we couldn't make both of these seven um, and then have those sum to what's uh, 21. We couldn't do that because um, that's not the way that cages work. You could buy Sudoku, but you can't buy cages. They're the rules. I'm gonna restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So the X's and V's are going to be incredibly powerful here because we know those two cells sum to five and those two cells sum to five. So we can immediately write those in as one, two, three, and four because the only way to make two cells sum to five is by using either one, four, and two, three. You can't use a digit five or higher because the other side would need to be zero or negative. So these are one, two, three, four. So we know that these digits are five plus five. So they sum to 10. The entire cage sums to 15. So that is a five to get the, t the sum up. Can I do that anywhere else? Yes, I can do it here. Those digits sum to 10. Those digits sum to 10. 10 plus 10 is 20. The entire, entire cage sums to 24. So that is a 4. This is a 1. 1 and 9 sums to... Um, sums to 10 for that 10 cage. So how do I make this 10 sum? It could be two, eight or three, seven because I can't use one nine and I can't use four, six um, because those digits are already used in the cage. Uh, this 13 cage, that sums to five. 13 minus five is eight. So that is an eight. So this can't be an eight. So this can't be a two. Um, can I get anywhere else with this? Well, yes, I can, because this is a six cage. The minimum three digits I could put into a cage, a one into a three cell cage, a one, two, and three, which sums to six. So this is the four, this is the six, this is the one, and this is not one, four. That's great. Um, one, two, three. So this has to be nine, eight, or seven to make the X work. But this seven cage has to be one higher than one, two, three in three digits. Which digit can I increase? So I need to increase one of those digits by one to populate the seven cage. Which digit can I increase without causing duplication? I can't increase the one or the two. I'd end up with a duplicate. So it has to. Be I have to increase the three and this becomes one, two, four. I now can't make this a two or I wouldn't be able to put a two in this cage. This is the three. This is the two. Now, this now becomes nine, eight or six and it can't be nine or eight. This is the six. So this is the four and this is a one, two pair. Okay, this is going really well. Now, I've got a six in here. 14 minus six is eight. These digits need to sum to eight. So they're either one, two, five, or one, three, four. So one, two, five, which would make this five and these one, two, or one, three, four. So hang on, this can't be one or two. One, two, five, or one, three. 
three, four. So these are the only possibilities, but this can't be one, two, or three. So this is the four or five. So these have to be from one, two, three, because it's either one, two, five, or one, three, four, and this must be the four or five, and, and the four is looking down, making this the five. So these are one, two, five. Okay, that's the way to do this. These sum to a minimum, yeah, this is a minimum five. This must be a six. These sum to 11. These must be the one, two to get us to the sum. And the two is looking down, making that the one and that the two. Great, that, that gets us there. Cool. 30 in four digits, five, 30 in five digits. The maximum I could put into this cage is five, six, seven, eight, nine. And five, six, seven, eight, nine sums to 30. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't at all. Six, seven, eight, nine is 30. No, I've got an extra digit to play with. These sum to 10. So these three digits here have to sum to 20. So that couldn't be a low digit, could it? Well, maybe. Now, what are these digits? They're either one, one, four, or two, three. This one, however, is forced because these are five digits summing to 35, and the maximum in there is five, six, seven, eight, nine. And five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine and six is 15, seven and eight is 15, add the five to get to 35. This is forced to be five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, I can't put eight in any of those because of the eight looking up. So this becomes the eight. Now, so this is forced. Now, I can't put a five on an X clue because a five on an X clue would need a five on the other side and both of those would be five. This is not the five. Five is up here. I can't put five on an X clue. Five is in one of those. Now, this is either one, three, or four, and it's not one or four. This is three, this is seven, taking seven out of those. This is a five, six, nine triple. The three takes three out of this, so this is one, four, and this becomes the two. The three, or the one and the two makes that the three, taking the three out of there, taking the seven out of there, and this is all one, two. This is falling together quite nicely. The nine would need this to be a one, the six would need this to be a four, in fact, one and four are in here. I could tell that those sum to 13, but I don't like <clears throat> three cell 13 sum. Not sure. There's no six here. There's no five here. This is the five. This is a six nine because of the five looking across. Uh, minimums in here are a bit weird. Well, this, these are from six, seven, eight, nine, and there's no nine there. There's no eight there. In fact, there's, oh, this is a seven, eight pair because of the six, nine. So that's the seven, that's the eight. And there's no seven or eight there. This is a six, nine. So now I can do much better here because these sum to 18 because this is 10 plus eight, which is 18. 23 minus 18 is five. So these need to sum to five and it can't be one four. This is a two three, looking down, making that seven and that the three. That's beautiful. So this is a one four. And in this column, I've got one, two, three, four. I need five, six. So these are five and six. And I can't put five on an X or the other side would have to be five. And I've got two fives in the row. That's the six. That's the four, making that the one and that the four. The six looks up, making that the five. These are six and nine. Now, what can this be? I need to put a low digit on this. This is either one nine, I can't use two eight or three seven. It's one nine or four six, which is the same as that. This is either one nine or four six. Those two digits are the same as those two digits, but I'm not sure how to resolve this. This can't be four, so this can't be six. Okay, I need something else. This X clue, it can't be one nine or four six. So it's two eight or three seven, and I can't put the two or the three here. So this is two eight, th two or three. So this is the seven or the eight. So this, this, right. If those sum to 12, these two digits would need to sum to 18. 
and you can't make two different digits sum to 18. The maximum is 8, 9, which only sums to 17. So if those sum to 27, that has to be the 3, that has to be the 7, and that becomes the 8, 9. That's actually a beautiful cage. That's really cool. So what are the triples I haven't put in? 1, 5, 7. Well, the 1 isn't there. The 5 isn't there. Oh, 1, 5 makes it that the 7, that the 1, that the 5. The 1 looks up saying that's not the 1, so that's not the 9. 3, ah, where's 3 in box 5? That 3 says not there, that 3 says not there, that 3 says not there. That's the 3. I've got four. I need to put five in one of those two. Not sure about six. Seven is in one of those two. So what's this? It can't be one, two, three, four, five. It could be six. It can't be seven, eight. This is six or nine, giving me a six, nine pair, looking up, making that the one, that the nine, which of course makes that the four, that the six, that the nine, that the one. What are these? Two, three, five, because I've got six, seven, eight, nine. These are two, three, five. The two and the five makes that the three, taking the three out of those. The five looks across, making that the two, that the five. This row is only missing a single digit, which is the two. This row is only missing a single digit, which appears to be the four. And this is a triple. Six, eight, and nine. There's no six there. Not sure about the rest. This is so much fun though. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is seven, eight, nine and must contain a seven, but there's no nine up here because of that nine. This is a seven, eight, looking down, making that the nine and that the eight. So eight in this box is here with the fives because I can't put eight in any of those or there. So this is a five, eight pair. So these are six, seven, and nine, and there's no nine. That's the nine, and this is a six, seven pair. So six, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are four and six, and the four is looking up, making that the six, and that the four. The six looks down saying no six there. That's a nine, making that the six. This has just got nice flow. The six makes this, the nine makes this the six. I saw that backwards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are two and four, with the two looking up, making that the four and that the two which makes that the three and that the two. Let's look at these rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are seven, eight, nine. Must contain a nine because I can't put the nine there. And I don't know, but that is now, oh, there's an eight, nine pair. So that's the seven. So that's the eight. So that's the nine. So that's the seven. These are three, five, eight. The eight, nine says there's no eight there. The three says there's no three there. Oh, the three, five makes that the eight, which makes that the five and that the three. So this is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a seven, eight pair, making that the nine, which makes that the one, which makes that the two. The one looks across, making that the two and that the one. The nine looks across, making that the six and that the nine. The six looks back, making that the seven and that the six. The seven looks across, making that the eight and that the seven. The eight looks back, making that the five and that the eight. This box is missing its five. The nine looks down, making this the eight and this the nine. And that is the solution to the puzzle. This was actually listed as harder than the previous two, but I think this was way easier. That was really fun, though. I did like it. I was a bit worried I'd have to do ma uh, a bit more math on some of these cages, but they was this one in particular, I loved. I mean, I nearly made the mistake of uh, five digits have to be maximized, but it's actually that one that was. But I loved the way this resolved with this being forced to be two or three because of this column, and then this um, forced to be eight, nine, making that the three. I thought that was beautiful. Absolutely lovely. Again, not a phenomenally hard deduction, just good, fun, not overly simple, but good, fun Sudoku deductions. Great fun. Good coffee break puzzles. Sip of coffee. Yeah, great fun. I love these Sudoku U puzzles. They are normally just really good, fun deductions. Love them. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Go get Signet Sudoku Volume 3 and 1 and 2 while you're at it. Just good fun. Um, yeah, have fun everyone. And as always, good luck with your solving.